Unica. I'm coming from Macedonia. I'm here uh, because of the teaching position in the Rice Center. Uh, this is like a private school where you uh, have like classes with kids from the age of 4 till 16 years old, I think are the oldest. The, the level of the kids here, uh, they already know English. So they're not uh, totally beginner except uh, the younger ones. You will have to use a uh, simple vocabulary with them. Uh, with the older ones, you can talk, you, they can understand some of the words. If they don't, they're always asking questions, so you're, you can explain to them. Yeah, of course, they're like low level and high level students, but most of them, they're pretty, pretty good. Or you always have one student in the uh, classroom that it's really good, it's like too high level, so usually that, kid's help, uh, that kid helps you with the uh, whole class. So if someone doesn't know how to say it uh, in English, this kid is like translating, this is doing the translating work. Uh, well, this is a burger game, the kids really love it. Uh, they they want to play any kind of game, so but first I'm saying like, what is this game about? They will have to give me a sentence to explain what are they are doing and then they can play. For example, they here they have to make burgers, sandwich, they are like um, uh, restaurant managers, I don't know, and workers too. So, for example, they have to make, what is this, bacon and two eggs, I'm asking what you have to make now. Bacon and two eggs, okay, now you can do it. And they are taking. They have to take, tell me step by step, taking the plate, taking uh, bacon, putting the plate across it. You can't click on the ingredients in any order. Okay. It's like they already have uh, the, the books on the like electronic uh, documents, so they have pictures, they have everything. We're just reading together, mostly for half an hour, so that's easy. So you're just asking some words they don't they don't know to describe them, and that's it. There are some competitions, some kind of projects, everything. Like every almost every month, there is something else. Typical work day is like uh, through the working uh, week from Wednesday till Friday. We're work working only uh, five and a half hour. That's the hours, that's almost nothing because um, like you're coming here, you have like uh, one hour to prepare for only one class. And that, then after that class you have one hour uh, break time and then you're finished for the day. So that's nothing. But uh, Saturday and Sunday they're difficult, uh, I mean a little bit uh, more because you have more things to do on your schedule you don't have only one class you have like six or seven but it's not th something that you cannot survive it's easy but you will have a lot of classes the first week I, when I got here uh, I was paying attention to the classes I, I was just like standing behind the teachers looking what they were doing stuff like that but it's enough because all the materials uh, are prepared, you just have to look through them, they're not difficult, you have the smart uh, board that ha helps you a lot, so everything is prepared already for you. Maybe you have to do some PPT, but that's, a, that's easy too. You have the teacher's guides, uh, guide and the guide tells you everything that you need to know. Yeah, you're going to training like once in a month, once in two months. They're helpful because you're exchanging experience with the other foreign teachers, they're longer here and we're working longer in race. So you can ask them like uh, for some ideas if you have some kind of problems with some lessons. If they are too difficult for your students, you can ask them how to make them simple because they already have some other ideas that you don't have. Uh, I don't know my uh, personal uh, experience here in Beijing, uh, except all if, if you don't mind the crowds because here it's like a holiday every day. Uh, like um, a lot of friends, they're like, what when they're coming here for the first time, they're always asking like, hey, Monica, what's going on? Do they have a holiday? Is is that why is this crowded? I'm like, no, it's a typical day, and it's gonna be crowded in the subways, but it's not something that you're not gonna get used to. And the air, it's a little bit, it's a problem, but for the first month after that, you, you're getting used to it. So, and now uh, because it's already it's summer, so the weather is pretty good.